You are a dark elf, shrouded in mystery and power. Your void armor clings to you like a second skin, resonating with your mastery of dark magic. Despite your raw strength and genius mind, you've chosen a life devoid of weapons, relying on your fists and spells to survive. Your journey begins in the shadowy depths of a forgotten city, lost to time, a place where whispers of ancient power tempt even the most disciplined minds. As you traverse the crumbling ruins, your sharp ears catch a faint whimper. Following the sound, you find a creature unlike anything you've seen before, a mix of scales and fur, its glowing blue eyes filled with pain. Its body is riddled with jagged wounds as though it had barely escaped a ferocious battle. It speaks, its voice weak but urgent. Dark Elf, help me. I know what you seek, but I will only share it if you save me. You hesitate. Creation magic flows through your veins, though it is far from your specialty. Using it might leave you vulnerable, draining your strength. On the other hand, your dark magic could stabilize the creature by absorbing its pain and binding it to you. But such a bond may come at an unexpected cost. You narrow your eyes at the creature. Its desperation feels genuine, but something about the situation doesn't sit right. The ruins are eerily silent, and a faint, almost imperceptible hum vibrates in the air around you. Dark energy gathers in your palm as you mutter a quiet incantation. The creature's eyes widen in realization, its voice trembling. No, you don't understand. I was sent to warn. Before it can finish, your magic surges forward, enveloping the creature in shadow. It lets out a faint pitiful cry before vanishing entirely, leaving behind only a faint wisp of light that dissipates into the air. The silence returns, but it feels heavier now. The air grows colder, and you feel the unmistakable sensation of being watched. From the darkness of the ruins, a voice echoes, low and chilling. Merciless, just as expected. A figure steps out from the shadows, a cloaked being with glowing red eyes and an aura that matches your own in power. They tilt their head as if amused. You've just destroyed the only thing standing between you and me. I hope you're ready, without hesitation, you summon the dark energy swirling within you. The air crackles as a sphere of shadow forms in your hands, growing denser with each passing second. The figure doesn't flinch, their glowing red eyes locked onto yours, daring you to make the first move. You've chosen poorly, the figure mutters, their voice laced with an almost mocking calm. You hurl the blast of dark magic with all your strength, the sphere streaking through the ruins like a comet of shadow. The impact is devastating. The walls of the ancient structure tremble, fragments of stone crumbling to the ground. Dust and debris fill the air, obscuring your view. For a moment, there is silence. Then, from the heart of the destruction, you hear slow, deliberate footsteps. The dust clears to reveal the figure, unharmed. In their hand, they hold a shimmering barrier of dark energy, crackling with power far beyond your own. You're strong, they say, lowering the shield with a flick of their wrist. But strength alone won't save you here. The figure raises their hand, and you feel a sudden, crushing weight on your chest. Your void armor flickers, struggling to repel the unseen force. The figure steps closer, their voice sharp and commanding. Why did you kill the creature? Did you think it was weak? Or were you afraid of what it might reveal? You grit your teeth, the weight on your chest threatening to buckle your knees. But you won't fall. Not here. Not now. Summoning all your defiance, you push back against the crushing force with sheer willpower. Enough games, you growl, your voice cutting through the tension like a blade. If you're so powerful, face me in a test of strength. No tricks, no barriers, just power against power. The figure pauses, the weight on your chest lifting as they lower their hand. A faint chuckle escapes their lips, echoing through the ruins. A test of strength, they repeat, amused. Bold, considering you have no weapon. But very well. They step closer, 
their cloak falling away to reveal an imposing figure clad in dark, rune-covered armor that radiates with energy. Their fists crackle with raw power as they take a combat stance. We'll settle this the old way. Prove to me that your strength is more than empty bravado. Combat test begins. The figure lunges at you with blinding speed, their fist crashing toward you like a meteor. You sidestep just in time, countering with a strike of your own. Your void armor amplifies your movements, but their raw strength is overwhelming. Blow after blow shakes the ruins around you, the clash of fists and magic resonating like thunder. You dodge another devastating blow, the ground cracking beneath the impact of the figure's fist. Their strength is undeniable, but you sense a flaw, their pride. You smirk, circling them like a predator. Is that all you've got? You sneer, brushing a bit of dust off your void armor. All that power, and you still can't land a single hit. Are you sure you're not overcompensating for something? The figure's red eyes narrow, their aura flaring with anger. You dare mock me, they growl, their voice reverberating through the ruins. Do you think this is a game? You tell me, you reply, gesturing at the crumbling battlefield, because so far I'm still standing, and you're just swinging like a brute. The taunt lands perfectly. The figure snarls, lunging at you with reckless fury. Their attacks lose precision, each swing heavier and more predictable than the last. You dodge and weave, letting their frustration grow. Finally, their momentum carries them too far. They strike at you with a wild, overpowered punch, missing as you sidestep. Their fist collides with a crumbling pillar, bringing part of the ruins down around them. Dust and debris fill the air as they stagger, momentarily disoriented. You seize the opportunity, channeling a surge of dark magic into a devastating counterattack. A blast of shadow energy slams into their exposed side, sending them crashing to the ground. As the dust settles, the figure struggles to rise, their armor cracked and flickering with failing energy. Well, you say, stepping closer. Looks like brute strength isn't everything after all. The figure struggles to their knees, their cracked armor sparking with failing energy. They look up at you, their red eyes burning with defiance. But you see the faint flicker of fear behind their glare. You fought well, you say coldly, summoning the darkest magic you've ever channeled. The air around you trembles as shadows coil around your hands, growing into a pulsating sphere of destruction. But this is where it ends. They try to rise, but their body falters. You don't know what you're unleashing. They rasp, coughing as they reach a trembling hand toward you. You smirk, stepping closer, the shadows in your hands writhing with anticipation. Unleashing? No, I'm ending it before it begins. With a roar, you unleash the dark energy, sending a massive wave of shadow hurtling toward them. The ground quakes as the magic tears through the ruins, swallowing the figure in an explosion of darkness. When the dust clears, you see nothing but scorched stone where they once knelt. You let out a breath, your energy draining as the spell dissipates. It's over, or so you think. A low, ominous laugh echoes from the shadows. The voice returns, stronger, darker, and filled with malice. Foolish child, it growls. You've only freed me. Your heart races as the ground beneath you cracks, a fiery red glow seeping through the fissures. From the depths rises a massive, skeletal figure cloaked in black flames, its hollow eyes burning with an ancient fury. You thought I was your enemy. It booms, its voice shaking the very air. I was only the beginning. The last thing you see is its massive, clawed hand reaching for you as the screen fades to black. To be continued.